Hello everyone and welcome back to Skyopolis 5. In the last few episodes we have been working on new Mattercraft here and we have made our way up to an unassembled PCB which was the main and hardest component I needed for sort of everything I need. So my goal for the end of this episode is to have a minigun because I think that would be really fun. So to get a minigun I need, do you know what? I'm looking at this and I don't even need a PCB. What was it I needed the PCB for? It was for the arm, wasn't it? Yes. But for a minigun, I don't even need the PCB. So we'll get started on that. Let me just get together all the ingredients. Okay, and that should be everything I needed. Don't worry, I'm not just going to end the episode here. Say hello to my little friend, out of ammo. Right, so he needs to go in the charging station first. I can then put some upgrades in him. Right, so he's going to get up to about 4.5 bar, because that's all I have in the system. But then how do I make ammo? Minigun ammo, that'll be it. Oh, incendiary. Weighted, armor piercing, explosive, freezing. Let's just go for the standard one, I reckon. Which is gunpowder, gold, gold and compressed iron. Well, it's a good thing I set up a mob farm because I've got loads of gunpowder. I don't need that much, to be honest. So there we go. There's two lots of minigun ammo. They don't stack. Oh, you get to see a little icon on it. I wonder what upgrades it can use. Oh, wow, it's already reached pressure. That's good. Yeah, so the pressures have equalised. So that's as high as it's going to get. Sneak right click to load. Oh, I can put multiple in. Oh, that's quite cool. We need to go test that out. Stay back, everyone. I've got a minigun. You know, it doesn't do much damage, but it, it does a really good job. I just feel so powerful. All right, he's coming after me now. But I'm just not giving him any chance. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay. Ah, so the range isn't great. What's happened? Is that out of pressure? Ah, it uses up pressure much quicker than it uses up the bullet magazines. Right, next I want to get myself the pneumatic armour. Because I want to see what that does. So I'm going to need 22 of these air canisters. And then a whole bunch of compressed iron. And of course the PCB. So I'll get everything out of the way. And then we can get on to making the PCBs. Right, so I have all the iron I need pressing in here. So I've realised in a pressure chamber here, you can get one iron into one compressed iron, which is much better than the pressing I was doing, which was nine to four. And in the recipe, we need leather. We need lots of leather to get all the things we need. So there are some cows over there. So I want to just take some fences over there and a bit of wheat. And then just set up a little cow farm. I think that would be a really good idea. So I'll just get like some slabs, some fences and everything just to make that. Okay. Little cow farm has been made. We have our first baby cow, the parrots and the bats. I've just done a little stone platform under it in case anything happens to the dirt. I just took the dirt from underneath and expanded it around. I should build a little wheat bit in here so I can breed them easily. That'll be enough. 
Well, hold on. No, I'll do one. I'll do one more because it needs to be even. Well, I suppose it doesn't. Because I've got my shifting powers if I want more wheat, more wheat for it. But right, now hurry up and grow up because I need your leather. We've probably got all the compressed iron we need now, though. No, not even close. Jesus. So it's 114 I needed in total. Ooh, an ender pearl. Well, it must have been from one of my brick turrets. Well, my only brick turret. The arrow turret doesn't seem to do anything. I think it needs a bow. But now that I'm getting arrows, maybe I should give it one. Oh! I don't even know what that is. Uh, three string for a bow. God, I don't get many spiders and there's no spider eyes. The whole reason I built that thing was for spider eyes. I don't even have any. Alright, so he's got a bow in, in it now. So I'm hoping that's going to work. We don't obviously have anything to test it out with. Unless I can lure something down. And not let it die. Hello. I mean, I could place a water bucket down, but this is very dangerous. Oh, okay. Well, I just saw it. It just shot. Let's, let's just let something land on that one spot. Everything chooses to land on the other three tiles. Let's go lure some more down. Hello. Ah! Okay. Thank God for my totem. And I, I, uh, the thing didn't blow up, which is good. So clearly there's no griefing damage. That did not go well. I am so happy. Oh. I am so happy that that all worked out. Let's... Okay, so we've got a creeper. Come on, arrow turret. Oh no, he's fighting back. Are they going to get the baby creeper? Yes, it's all working. Let's get that. Right, so I've been waiting around for a bit. I've made all of the air canisters I need. But I was waiting around for my cows. But I've just realised something. I don't need to wait for ages for my cows. All I need is one bit of leather. And neither of them bloody drops it. Ugh, I can still get leather from cows, right? I'm not just making... That's not... They've not changed that. Oh, I guess it doesn't show mob drops. Usually it shows mob drops. Oh, yeah, there it does. Hold on. I was on the wrong thing. So it is dropped by cows. And these cows, they're just retextured, right? They're not different cows entirely. No, like That's a regular Minecraft cow. I just guess I got so unlucky. Anyway, I only need one because then I can use this basic mob essence to get myself some more there. And I just turn one of them into four of them. So I guess I'll just wait around until I get some leather. Actually, scratch that. We're going to work on assembling some PCBs. So we need four of them in total for all the armor. We only have three unassembled, so we are going to need to make another one of that. So what was it? A plastic, three gold, and two redstone torches. So three golden nuggets. We need a redstone torch. I believe I made a bunch of those. And some plastic, which I should have a fair bit of. I didn't pick I did pick that up. And then we should just be able to chuck all of those in there and that'll make ourselves three more. And then to assemble it, we just need a capacitor and a transistor, which are made fairly easy inside the pressure chamber. Although its output isn't great, it's only one. So we have to make eight of each of them in total, so I'll just gather the ingredients for that. Okay, I've got all the ingredients I need for eight of each of the capacitors and transistors. 
We have all the empty PCBs we need, so they need to go in there into the UV light box, and then after that, they need to go in here. It might be worth getting another hopper for that to go in there. And then we need to pop these ingredients in here, wait for that, and then go for the other lot. Right, while I'm waiting for everything, I kind of want to check out what's inside one of these hot air balloons, and I can't believe I've not done it already. But I've been curious for if it's just like wool and wood. Oh, it looks like it is. Is there going to be any sort of treasure inside? That would be nice. No, it's literally just a bunch. Oh, there is a chest inside. Oh, it's actually got some decent goodies. Maybe I should go start looting the hot air balloons. I'm just going to... If I burst a hole in the top of all, they're all going to sink into the void. And we've got snow on. Right, this is the third one I've looted now. I've got a sapling. It seems to be the same sort of thing. You get some gunpowder, some wool, some waste, and maybe a couple of like seed things. Now, I needed a way to sort of let myself know which ones I've already looted. And I decided the best way to do that would be to set them on fire. <laughs> so if they've burned down, I know I've looted them. I think it's pretty efficient. Gets the job done. Right, how about these cows? Here we go, we've got two adults now. Oh! Oh, that was scary. <laughs> I don't know why the first time I tried to fly didn't work, but that was scary. Jumped a little short there. Right, and I'm just, I'm just gonna kill one of them. And I want your leather. Yes! Okay, that's all I needed. Uh, has that one stopped? Has that one put out its own fire? How does it manage that? And that one. Well, I can't have that. Oh, it was on fire still anyway. That one's properly burnt down. Oh, ash! That's quite cool. I didn't know that was a thing. Right, but now with this leather, I should be able to get... All of the ones I need. Do you know what? I'll even get myself some extras. And then I should, once, if I got my capacitors and transistors, which I have, great. Oh, I need a PCB. Right, I'm not there yet because the PCBs haven't left the UV light box yet. So I need just one of them, which is going to take 150 seconds. But I guess we can make most of the suit. While we wait, and get some of it charged. So finished PCBs, now the fun starts. Pneumatic helmets. Pneumatic chest plates. Pneumatic leggings. And now we're just waiting on the pneumatic boots. So they are going to need to go in here and charge up a bit. They're only going to get, be able to get to 4.5. I need to sort out like a high pressure system which can go higher and charge everything much better. Right, so all the armour is charged up. I guess we'll stop hiding the armour. We'll put it on. Oh! Okay, well, whatever it is, it's loading up. I haven't installed anything compressed iron, man. <laughs> it kind of looks cool. Well, they're all initialized. I don't know what it actually does. I don't think it does anything unless I install something. These boots provide full protection, step assist, and when upgraded, Pack quite a kick. That's nothing. This chest plate can store a large quantity of air and when upgraded it is capable of supplying air to other pieces. That's quite good. So, I don't know. What kind of upgrades have we got in here? So, standard ones. Oh, and light trust. Good. Stomp. End division. So that'll 
I mean, I can look at Enderman. Gilded, I guess that'll mean we'll be fine in the nether. Radiation, I don't know what produces radiation, so I'm not sure about that. Minigun, upgrade, add miniguns to things. Flippers on the boots, jumping. Jet boots sounds cool, night vision. Scuba upgrade, definitely. Creative supply, yeah, that's not craftable. Inventory upgrade. Armor upgrade, just make it stronger. Charging upgrade, I guess that means that's what I need to put in the chest plate so we can charge things. And then I think these are just some more generic. Oh, coordinate tracker, item search. Okay, well, there's some cool things in there. I don't really have eyes of enders to waste or carrots of any kind. I might be able to get some carrots from like the loot bags. But anyway, I guess this is my armor now. Is it? Does it lose pressure when it's not got any upgrades in it? I don't know. I also don't know what I'm going to do for the rest of this episode. I guess I need to figure that out. Okay, well here's one thing we need to do. So apparently we can get debris scrap from nether enriching water. So we're going to need to convert some of this water up here into nether enriching water. But how much do I want to do? Because I want a lot of ancient debris. But it also provides like gold and silver, which I'm not, I don't think I have silver yet, but gold I've got plenty of. So I don't want too much, but then I do want lots of ancient debris. So I think I might just go for two. What's, who survived? Oh, chick, a chicken zombie. What happened? He exploded? I didn't know they could explode. Oh, an interval. I guess they've been fighting. Oh no, that was the thing that exploded. Oh, you didn't have to kill the chicken. Oh, one of my very particular one of my subscribers is not going to be happy with that naughty turret. Right. I guess we don't need this armor anymore. What was I about to do? Oh yes, I was getting some buckets for some nether enriching water. And then we should hopefully start getting some ancient debris nuggets. Which brings me on to the next thing. Uh, where was it I saw it? Here. So there's a roading water catalyst. That then can be used to make blank nuggets, dust, pebbles and gems faster. Which I can only assume is by replacing the water on here with the eroding water. So I've got 12 out, so we kind of need 12 of these eroding catalysts, which is a nether, lots of netherite ingots around an already hard catalyst to make. That is going to take some effort to get that. So I think I'll leave that for now, because that is too much effort. I did kind of see this time in the bottle thing here, which I kind of want to do, but yeah, I don't want to waste those resources. Nether exploration, we're done. I think I want to start getting into deep space, to be honest. I reckon we're ready for it. Oh god, it costs netherite to make. I do have some, luckily. Spacesuit upgrades. Oh, and I upgrade netherite armor. Right, so I need that. How many diamonds do I have? Three. Yeah, not enough. So I guess in the next episode we'll start thinking about space. We're going to set up an automatic blank gem enriching thing like I've done with the rest here. And yes, look, I can see the ancient debris pebbles bouncing around there, so I do need a chest. A diamond chest, why not? And that should get the ancient debris pebbles, and then I just need to put it in somewhere. And the silver nuggets. Cobalt nuggets. Debris scrap. So I guess the cobalt and 
thingies can get their own thing here, but the debris bits can go in that one. And then I'll make some compacting drawers for, I'm so, wait, oh, that's cobalt, not, for some reason I thought that was lapis. But silver nuggets and cobalt nuggets, they just crash into that, so they should be able to go into a compacting drawer. So I'll make those and see them in the next episode. Thanks for watching. See you then. Goodbye.